Hey y'all, I'm today at a Talking Cedar Brewery, which is, I believe, the Chehalis tribe in Washington State. And they're a brewery, it's a partnership with Heritage Distilling, so they also have a distillery on site. And I got a flight here. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, that's a really bad camera angle. Switch hands. The flight of several of their brews. The Amber, their Raspberry Blonde, their Kolsch, and then their Pacific Northwest um, IPA. I'm gonna change the order here because I believe the Amber is going to wash out my Kolsch and my Raspberry. So I'm gonna start with the Raspberry here with a quick taste. Um, okay, smelling citrus, uh, wheat. Um, this, is, this is a Raspberry Blonde, so it's a, I believe a wit beer, a Belgian style wit beer. Uh, with raspberry in the brewing process. I have to look up, I can't remember how and where they add these. Uh, but Definitely smelling that kind of raspberry brightness. It smells like uh, really sweet raspberry, which is nice, like it's a ripe raspberry. Mm. Okay, um, yeah, bright, definitely fruity. The raspberry is very prominent. Um, the wheat beer is like the, 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 the wheat beer base, the blonde base is really clear, really easy. It's got a nice like try, kind of a dry cracker finish. The juiciness is there really fast, really hard in the front, and then it kind of goes away really quickly and you're left with this really nice biscuity cracker finish. It's really good. I like that a lot. Let's give the Kolsch a try. Hmm, not much to smell there. Make sure I'm not smelling my hands. It's always a problem. Maybe grassiness? Interesting. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh, very bright uh, lemonade. Like, uh, lemon peel, um, light malts. Um, that's really nice. Kolsch is traditionally a, a warm weather beer, and that's, that's a really good warm weather beer. <laughs> Move on to the amber here. Hmm. Maybe some bread in a in a, a proper glass. I'd probably catch more of the smells, but I think most of them are getting washed away. Hmm. Oh, that's a it's a tasty amber. Um, so these are all fresh from the tap. I'm picking up the, the strong roasted malts. Um, the just that really nice. Uh, Almost a rye bread, so caraway uh, kind of flavor there. And then you're left with this kind of lingering bitterness from the hops and um, and then a dry cracker. So it's a kind of a combination of the, the, the bitterness of, the, of the, the, the hops and this dry cracker malt finish. Very nice. And now to the Pacific Northwest IPA. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have mosaic hops in here yeah i like mosaic hops so i'm looking forward to this mm. oh there's a lot going on there um i might have to get a can of that to go to dig into it deeper because there's a lot of that's very juicy um the hops are definitely more more dominant than the um the ipa i had at ferment a few weeks ago um there's a grassiness real funkiness um the malt's still there but it's definitely that the hops are starring in there and for a fresh beer they're really juicy i like that a lot um so this has been talking cedar brewery their uh raspberry blonde ale their kolsch and um their amber and their pacific northwest ipa and good stuff. Give them a try if you're in the area. This is in Chehalis, Washington, right behind the, uh, the, the Wolf Lodge here right off I-5, so they're not hard to find. Anyways, catch y'all on the flip side.